personal computer main board. Wow. Remember, this place has been abandoned since uh, 2005. Wow, 486DX. Estate sales make good videos because you get to look into the life of a person and mm -hmm. see how complex they are or simple. Well, this uh, guy was a freaking mechanic. Did you see this beam up here in the ceiling? Because he's pulling his own engines right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love how he's got it chained up there. Yeah? Let me get this compressor here. This salt. Yeah, I know that. I mean, this is like hoarder central, but at the same time, it's cool to look at. There's sheds in the backyard, too. That are still full? Yes. Briggs and Stratton. Really? Little motors. Want another clock? What's that thing? Like a an old school radial arm saw? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's exactly what it is. But that's out of the Ambassador Hotel. That's long since gone. It's very possible. So what do you say is going to happen? 1-800-JUNK is going to come up here and... We're going to clean it out. Anything we don't take, they're going to clean out. That's it. And soon. <sighs> wow, think of all the cancer contained in this... Grease ordinance. Extreme pressure grease ordinance. Did you see this? Yeah, he worked for uh, United Airlines for 40 years, so a lot of the stuff, it looks like it was military in those uh, green cans. Yeah. Is an old fan. Someone would go clinky twinkler for this for yeah, sure. Microwave. microwave in the garage. Yeah, I'm telling you, he lived out here. This guy was building, building stuff out here. TMK. I'm going to grab all these fuses. I still have a house that uh, has old fuses in it. You guys, personal paperwork. A lot of welding stuff. I love this yeah, vice. Lots of uh, lots of brass 
You know what I think this Zep Freeze is? I think this is R12. Dichloral, difloral methane. A lot of the old, uh, geez, white case or yellow case now computer stuff. Wow, this hardware store. This is incredible. Nineteen sixty two Historical Diary. Jeez, could you get I might have to This is kind of like open season here. They invited me up to pick anything I wanted before. 1-800-JUNK uh, shows up. Look at all the acetylene and oxygen. Fittings. <laughs> Jeez, man, he's worse than I am. Any little ledge that you could set something on, there's something sitting on it. See, he took an old car apart. Here's, this is a Mercedes dashboard with 96,000 miles on it. And a Simpson voltmeter from year one. Oh, you got a Simpson voltmeter? Oh, yeah, stick that in my pile of stuff. Computer power supplies. There's very, very few people that are this complex and that have this variety of interests and abilities. How would you say it, Bob? I mean, would you call this complex, or would you call this insane? Oh, here's another clock. I bet that one's worth money. A Minnie Mouse clock? You need those, uh... Picker Hoarder guys. Wow, look at all the fluorescent tubes.
There's a inline fuel pump right here, probably for a Mercedes. It's a under the car fuel pump. Wow, that thing weighs like 10 pounds. Sony. Yeah, that'll have to, wow, that's heavy. Is that the case to it right there? Clinko twerculate this. Auto Molly. Oh, cool. More mercury vapor lights. Uh, yeah, I need those for my... I need those for my grow lab, man. Cool. You grow? Uh, yeah, dude. Like, totally. Wow, these are lifeguard, too. These are the old... Oh, that's a Sylvania. see what this one is are there vacuum tubes inside this A DC3 or what? Look. 6AC7. Let's see. Ooh. Air pane with a piece broken off of it. Yeah. Part of the tail missing. But it, it does, it resembles a DC3. More vacuum tubes. Let's see what we got here. 24JE6. Let me know when you find the asbestos uh, Christmas ornaments. What is this? What, what is, what kind of light is this? Oh, here's a pressure cooker. You want to let the good times roll. Headlights. Let's see what we got here. Here you go, Bob. Open this. shoes in the last 40 years. Headlights. 
steel beam. No halogen here. Good old incandescent yep. goodness. Clock radio, Hitachi, Digibrite. Carbon tetrachloride, uh, real brake clean from back in the day. Oh, you got tetrachloride. Let's see what we got here. Temporary, no parking. Look at this. This would make a great Christmas gift for your wife. You there, Bob? A Master Chef cooking pin. Okay, have I gone too far here? You want to give your wife a uh, Master Chef cooking pin? It's, it's just endless. How about this? Oh, welding goggles? Yes, welding goggles. Yeah, definitely. In the box. I can't believe it's literally, it's just like, it's just solid up here, isn't yeah, it? It's the guy's whole life. It's just packed in here as solid as it can go. How about all those little jars? Nuts and bolts and stuff. I hate to see that go in the trash. I know, but that's where it's going, guy. I'm telling you. How about the shed? Well, let's can, go. Let's can go we here. look in there real quick? Sure. Yeah, coax twin lead. There's, it's got three. No, it is only two. Huh? Yeah, back when they used to have cable A and B. It's like a control panel. This is like some control, look, filament control. Total hours. 60 hertz. Huh. Look at this, a front throw lawnmower. Oh, yeah, an old reel mower. Yeah, but it's a front. Throw a reel more, not like the old. Right, right, right. But look, the McLean trim and edge, both of them, the edger and the. Line. Yeah. Still got compression. What's this? Chrysler alternator. Yeah. Big old air tanks, fuel filters, oil filters, you know, the old add-on yeah. style. Look at that big old 12 horsepower Wisconsin in the corner over there. A big old cast iron block motor. Yep. 
I'd love to have this, Bob. I don't know. You gotta, you'd have to talk to the boss about that. You think they might keep it? No. I don't, I, my son-in-law wants everything gone. <laughs> so, if you took that, you have to take the edge of too. Oh, really? How am I gonna... Insane. Oh, I know. Potato chips, lead-based potato chips for a toddler. Lead-based potato chips. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, no. I, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, just leave it. All right. I want to shut these doors. Do they shut? House is getting knocked down. It's a big house. Feels like it's uh, not not timber lath, but probably uh, either button board and plaster or. Um, gypsum laugh. It's not. Wow, look at the size of this. Wow, look at that. Disco biscuit to the max. Playback. So how do you play? If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Guess they took his voice off of it. So let's see. Look at this beast. Sanyo. Yeah, it's too bad they're going to knock it down. I always like these old. It's a massive house. Oh, check this out. Here's his office. A little bit of morbid gawking, huh?
You taking the schlag? $44. Heavy duty residential. Yeah, it's overkill. There's no way to... And you know, the problem is, is I would take all of it and... and that's, why, that's why I thought out of you. Is this a giant resistor? Uh, that is a selenium rectifier. Hold on, hold it there. That's an old military selenium rectifier. rectifier. Yep, Perfect. selenium rectifier. I'll definitely, that's a, wow, never used. Mm -hmm. Don't look like it. It looks like there's a lot of uh, little tiny screws and stuff in there. <laughs> a whole room full of them. Yeah, that's it. My brother took a bunch of like, Digital. Yeah, is that your phone? Where's your phone? In the back of the 2.5 uh, gigabyte. No, wait, 2.97, 2.5 gig. Hard drive? 2,500 megabytes, I think. Can you put this down here? Yeah, 2,500 megabytes. Mm -hmm. So 2.5, 2.5. Pretty much. Good thing we didn't bring the truck. Yeah, Paul Paul wants you to give uh, his wife a ride or something. Really? Yeah. Now? Does Paul live around here? No. no. Do you want to... His last one, did he what, about 5,000 viewers or something yeah. like that? It's just going to the dump, huh? Yeah, come get it. <laughs> here? Go off the plug strip up higher. Oh. We only got three of those Nice and dry. I think I forgot to mention that this house has been vacant for 14 years. 2003. This owner of this died 14 years ago or more. And it's been vacant for 14 years. And yeah, I grabbed a whole truckload of stuff because 1-800-JUNK is coming. I got that radio. We'll do a resurrection on that radio. I don't even know what this is. What is this? A big... battery charger wow look at this a 1980 calendar for Torrance Auto Parts this is now our Napa 1980 and so this is it last call it's all going in there We made one more stop by because somebody forgot something and they wanted me to grab it for them. So we're just taking one more look here. And it's absolutely incredible. I hate to see it all just go in the trash, but that's what's gonna happen. Can't save it all.
personal computer main board. Wow. Remember, this place has been abandoned since uh, 2005. Wow, 486DX. Is that actually a legit processor? Or what goes here? What goes in the other one right here? I don't even remember what these old uh, black... Uh, I'm not even going to think about it. Intel 486DX. Didn't even have a heat sink on it, huh? Here's another one, Intel 486. I wonder if this is worth any money. Maybe I'll take it. I could just put the whole thing on eBay and get rich. 486DX. Use. Oh, this one has a uh, cooler on it. So, like, two megabytes of RAM. I know people like this old stuff. And, uh... Of course, I can't use it for video editing, but... Chloridane dust. So we'll go through and take a look at a little bit of what I brought home. I did get the WebCore phonograph deal so we'll do a resurrection on that and I got the little Sony tape super heavy cassette player which I don't know if we'll do a video on that these bulbs a lot of this stuff I'm gonna put in the trash I didn't notice that these bulbs were spent you can see the black there it's dead um, and I went back with a couple friends that own machine shops later that night, or yeah, and we got a lot more stuff. I tried to get as much of it, save as much of it from the recycle bin as I could, but it's always neat to find a, I think I said this earlier, it's always neat to find one of these old school complex people that is has multiple interests and multiple skills and multiple abilities you know not many people are like that these days they have their one thing that they do 24 je6 six ca7. 6CA7. I wonder what that is. Wow, Cash Electronics. 6CA7. That was a... This is a... 20, oh, two dollars and ninety-five cents. I was going to say. What is a 6CA7? This looks like an amplifier tube. $44 when this was, and we know the house has been vacant for 14 years, so. Check out this old, early garage door remote. All it is is a leather case with a button on it. And you open it up, and it's a single transistor oscillator. It's on... 
27225. So it's in the CB band. Or maybe it wasn't at the time. But look at that old RCA transistor. It's a very, 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 very early garage door remote. ITT. Now this right here makes the chloridine dust all worthwhile. So what this is, check this out. Isn't that cool? I wish the whole case was here. But what this is, is this is volts, amps, and it's too bad it's so coarse because I wish it was like 0 to 5 amps and not 0 to 10 amps. Um, this is like a, a variac to bring things up on. And it was sitting in the garage like that. You could see the dust accumulation, so I'll have to clean this off. Wonder how the condition of the brush is. Oh, it's there. It's there. And look at both sides of the power line are actually switched, not just one. This might actually be worth making a box for. It, it would be neat though to drop that meter down to 0 to 5 amps instead of 0 to 10. Very little that I ever work with goes up to uh, 10 amps. This is probably the prize out of the whole thing. I could not let this go to 1-800 junk. This is a bitchin' saw. Corner cub? The complete shop. That is so cool. Looks like it takes a regular skill saw size blade. This is definitely going into a good spot. Let's see, what else did I grab? I grabbed one of these. It's all that stuff. I grabbed a cutting board. Anybody need a cutting board? I did grab the edger. McLean edger. I did grab the McLean reel mower. We will fire this up at some point. And a bunch of other little miscellaneous crap. Some old. This is just too cool right here. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff in that spot, for sure. And then this, I had to grab this, it's full of all machine parts. I saw a... Uh, One ninety D old diesel Mercedes, I guess. One point nine liter. 